Welcome to Unit 2. In this unit, we're going to examine the nature of JavaScript that's both compiled and interpreted. A lot of people agree to the fact that JavaScript is an interpreted language. But what does interpreted mean? When you write a program in a language like C or Java, there is actually a compilation step that needs to happen before you execute your program. Right? The compilation step actually converts your source code into an intermediary code or even the final object code that you actually execute. Right? So you don't actually execute the source code itself. You execute this intermediary file that is compiled. Okay, So there's a compilation step which runs through your source code and generates that intermediary file. And that's what you execute. However, in the case of JavaScript, what you execute is your source code. Because think about it. You link your JavaScript code to a web page in a browser. right? So when the browser makes a request to your JavaScript code, what it's going to get back is the actual source code, not a compiled code. It is the actual code that you have written. Now, the browser executes the code directly without creating this intermediary file. Now, does that mean that the JavaScript code is not compiled? Well, it actually doesn't, but it does mean that the JavaScript code is interpreted. Okay, so that's what you mean by an interpreted language. The runtime executes the code directly, right? It's the source code itself which is executed. However, there is actually also a compilation step that the browser does before it actually executes it, right? So when the browser gets the JavaScript code, it actually does two things. There are two steps that the browser executes. The first step is the compilation step. This step actually has the browser looking at your source code and identifying a particular set of things which it needs in order to execute it. Okay, so it doesn't execute it on the very first step. It does a compilation step where the point is not to generate this intermediary file, but to look for signs and to make note of certain things which it needs to actually execute it. Once that compilation step is done, then the interpretation step executes and that's where the actual code is executed. All right, these two steps happen very quickly and together. When the browser gets a JavaScript file, it runs the compilation step a fraction of a second before it runs the interpretation step. So these two are very much closely linked. They happen very closely in time. But still, you cannot deny the fact that there is a compilation step. So JavaScript is both compiled and interpreted. Now what happens in these two steps? That's what this unit is going to cover. We're going to examine the compilation step first and then we're going to examine the interpretation step and we'll see what the JavaScript engine does in each of these steps. Understanding these two steps is actually very important in order to figure out the behavior of the JavaScript engine in certain pieces of code and we'll examine that. Once we've gotten an understanding of these two steps, we will examine some pieces of code and play the role of the compiler and the interpreter and figure out what the output will be for different pieces of code. So see you in the next video where we'll look at these two steps in detail.